doesn't matter how hard we try, we can't lock doors to keep Christ out. We've even found that locking doors doesn't even keep a pandemic out. Sure, it does to a degree, but if it's wherever they say it is, what can you do? Christ penetrates the doors in today's Gospels, and he, he greets them with peace. A lot of us have locked doors, and I understand that reality. I understand that concern. But on the inside is the very same emotion of the disciples. Worry, fear, doubt, and this idea of hiding behind locked doors, thinking that they could keep out Christ any more than we can keep out an illness, a virus. It doesn't exist. What would you say if Christ came into that worry that you're in right now and he said, peace? What would your reaction be? Would it be a place of receptivity? Yeah, Lord, you called me out on that. I'm a little bit anxious. I'm running around inside my house like a, like a worried person, thinking that that's going to create more peace within me. It doesn't. I want you to think of three things. First, being inside a locked place does not mean there's peace in there. It never has and never will. A locked, angry heart just means that there's something broken within. Second, is that Christ does come to bring peace, but you also have to allow that encounter. Christ can say peace, but you can push it away or block it out or whatever is the desire that you feel you are being called to because of your wounds and fears, push it away. No, no, no. And thirdly, recognize that when Christ brings peace, it's a place of freedom. This weekend, the church celebrates Pentecost, and like Pentecost or the disciples in the gospel, they're in a locked room and they're just hiding. Maybe we need this new Pentecost grace to go forth after this virus, after we get permission to come out and play and pray, so to speak. Then we will experience total freedom. I pray that when this is all over and we can gather as a church and pray prudently, of course, that you will obviously take a step going out in the freedom, in the authority of Christ. God is with us, and he will never be blocked by a locked door, and he gives us peace so that when we go forth, we bring peace to others. That's my Sunday game plan. God bless you.